Hi. Out on the back porch, yeah, is where I'll be playing until my bitter end or it'll rain again. Out on the back porch, yeah. Where I'll be playing, staying, staying for the time and night. Don't it blow away like sand? And it's one, two, three to the bottom. Not far and go am I already there? One, two, three to the bottom. Hold it here, hold it here. You're not in for laughter. Not here for glory, and you sure ain't here for my style. Please stay a little while. Make me your friend, and make me understand. better mind for the time in hand and it's gone to three to the bottom tumble down slow in my own Holding my head like a child Smoke here in time for a while Damned if I don't Cause I'm already there I'm already there Humbled so low, am I already there? One, two, three, two, the bottom, hold it in, hold it in. And it's one, two, three, two, the bottom, not far to go. Am I already there? One, two, three, to the bottom. Hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here, hold it here. Head on the back porch. It's where
where I'll be playing on to my bitter end. Hey all, how you doing? Um, well, it's gathering 420, so as you might uh, have guessed I just plan to sit here and smoke a ton of weed with you for the next hour If that's cool Actually, I just got my second vax this morning. So it's it's a hydration night for me um, <laughs> Feeling good so far. I did not feel very good uh, For my uh, during my after my first uh, after my first shot and uh, uh, And they say actually that if you've had COVID uh, that 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 first shot can be kind of brutal and what I was told while I was getting my second shot today uh, was uh, that uh, That oftentimes the first shot is bad, especially if you've been sick the second shot um, uh, Is uh, is a lot easier so Fingers crossed because we got gigs to play this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah uh, Oh look at this I thought something felt weird. Ah, okay. Better. That's better for me. Okay. Heather, I think that's appropriate. Socks. She keep a hemp jewelry in a handmade box. She got the nappy hair beneath the torn bandana. Mm -hmm. She likes Jonah Mitchell and the old Santana. She danced to the right, she bowls to the left. She is the one in a lot the best time. The tongue cuts like a banana. From down the road mm. Near the creek in the hollow Where the cops don't go She dies to the right She rolls to the left She is the one And a lot the best Come on cuts like a runner Yeah, she said Love one another Try to run for the cover No. 
love the cause that ain't a style mm-hmm. If you go to the mountain plan to stay a while She will weave you a belt then she'll take you down To the drum circle at the edge of town Another day here in the construction zone. I woke up early. 5 a.m. wake up this morning. That may not be early for many of you. It was not early for me out in the desert, I'll tell you that. I would be up, you know. Allie was working on East Coast time, so she had to get up about that time anyways. And I did not want to miss one second of that sunshine while I was out there. So, uh, uh, we had these, uh, these windows at the foot of our bed overlooking the wash and the sun would rise they were kind of facing east and uh, so the sun would rise and we have curtains uh we we made these kind of blackout curtains so you could sleep if it was sunny but we would keep them open because there was nothing more glorious than waking up to that sun coming over the peaks over the desert oh Yep, it was a good, though. they were good mornings. Allie's out there now, I miss it. I wish I was out there with her. I mean, I'm happy I'm here and I'm so excited for the shows that we've been playing and that I continue to play. So, I, you know, I don't regret my decision to stick around and be here and, uh, and, and I love Boston and I love New England and it's the springtime and it's nice, but I do. I'm torn, my heart's in two places right now. You know? Wake up at five. Wander out, check the mouse traps. Grab a cup of coffee. Work on some emails or whatever I had to do. Wait for Crash, the Roadrunner, to come by and eat the mouse, the mice that I caught. That's a good way to wake up. Uh, old school never released I was written I just turned 21 years old when I wrote this song Just turned 21 years old, and for those of you that know uh, that know the song uh, "She's Just a Girl," this is this is the girl. The scene in this song takes place between me and that girl. 
Why don't you put your cards on the table? He shakes his head accusingly. Do you not try? Are you unable? Mystery to me. She lies next to him, she stares at the ceiling. For hours, maybe weeks. her head sideways and she begins to speak she said time goes by and we must fly I don't want to miss you any more than I already do. He said it's easy to think in nevers. What will never last, what can never be. I prefer to think in forever. Like our lasting memories And he said Time goes by We must fly I know I will remember you The same as I already do And she said Time goes by, yeah. we must fly. Blinking and it's gone, so let's be careful what we do. And he says back to her Time goes by, yeah. we must fly. While we can, that's all we can ever do. Da 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 Time goes by, yeah. we all fly. Well, they quiet.
quietly surrender for another blink or two. They quietly surrender for another blink or two. Mm, they quietly surrender for another blink or two. Written, uh, written during a short time in my life when I was living in South Africa. A lot of memories. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the claps and the love. Yeah, that's a song that I'd never played before The Gathering. Despite it being 23 years old. A lot of memories from that time in my life. I was a student there. doing like uh, env environmental assessment surveys along the southern coast of South Africa, studying erosion patterns in the beaches. The Cape of Gullis Coast. Hitchhiked all throughout Southern Africa with my buddy Sammy. Sammy, who makes a uh, an appearance in the song, she is just a girl. Just talking about, uh, I was, uh, I was just talking about, uh, the sunrise in, uh, in California in the desert where, where Ali and I are and how that is just my favorite time of day. When I was out in South Africa, the sunset was, that was my time. I don't know I, how I had the wherewithal to do this at 21 years old. Um, in the midst of school stuff and, but, uh, and just being young stuff, but every day I would find some time and I was just learning how to play the guitar and I would find some time every day to go off by myself during the sunset with the guitar and I would, I would play and I would watch the sunset and, uh. That was like my little thing every night. And uh, it's really where, you know, in a lot of ways, I first began to really immerse and be in, in being a songwriter. I, I didn't really know how to sing or play the guitar at that point yet, but, you know. I found out years later that my, my host family I lived in this, uh, uh, I lived in uh, a township outside of uh, Cape Town. Uh, this amazing family, amazing couple, Tom and Ivy. He was a priest. He was a preacher. She was a school teacher. Uh, they had marched with Nelson Mandela. Um, they would, they would call them, they, they were, Colored, which is a 
which is a racial category that is not, uh, which is not a slur in South Africa under the apartheid government. If you were dark, dark skinned, you were black. If you were light, dark skinned, you were colored. Uh, they were colored. This was a colored family. I was living in a colored township outside of, out of Cape Town. And, uh, Man, they just, I would, uh, I would come in from the sunset and I would help Ivy cook dinner at night. And Tom uh, would uh, get to telling stories about his life and about life and we would spend hours talking and hanging out and eventually, if he was feeling really good, Tom would, would, uh, would take out a bottle of port that he would save just for special occasions. I don't think it was particularly good port. <laughs> but for him, sipping on a little glass of port was like the thing, right? Uh, it was like, and, uh, and we would have a glass of port together. And uh, I found out, uh, Five, ten years later, that Tom had died. He had a heart attack and he passed. And uh, I hadn't talked to him since I'd been in South Africa. So, you know, I'd not stayed in touch with, with Tom and Ivy. Um, but it was a sad day. And then, and I, and I wrote, uh, I wrote, I wrote this song that day that I heard about, uh, about, um, about his death. And uh, in the second verse of this song, I'm singing, I'm singing about him. Let's see how this goes. I think I like this better. I say, 
life I live my life Yeah I do survive Six billion lives Yeah I live my life Yeah, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go away and leave you all alone? Oh, I've got a bad desire. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Tell me now, baby, is he good to you? Can he do to you the things that I do? Oh, no. I could take you higher. Sometimes it's like someone took a knife, baby, hit you and dull and cut a six inch valley through the middle of my soul. Soaking wet in a freight train running through the middle of my head on a you. You cool my desire. Oh, oh, oh I'm on fire. Bye.
Throwbacks tonight, apparently on 420. Still hydrating? Cheers. I'm gonna play a song for you all now. Uh, called uh, Cover Man. A lot of memories coming back tonight for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Cover Man's a song that I wrote uh, my first year in Chicago playing music. I was hired to be a Thursday night artist at a bar, a local bar right outside of Wrigley Field. And, uh, and, uh, and I ended up... Uh, I ended up not being able to to uh, keep the gig because I didn't I didn't want to play uh, I didn't want to play covers all night uh, I wanted to play original music but it was hard to say no to that because I needed work and I needed money there's this really There's this really interesting place that you get to as a musician. Or that maybe a lot of musicians find themselves in. Uh, where you get good enough. You get good enough that, uh, that you can... You can play a song a famous song and you can sound pretty good. You can sound good enough to make other people pretty excited that you're playing that song, right? It is a lot easier to make a living to a certain extent. <laughs> Uh, it's never easy making a living as a musician. But it is pretty damn hard to sell tickets to get people to come out and see you play original music when nobody knows your original music. And it's a lot easier to get hired to play a show in a bar where uh, you can be a human jukebox, right? Around this time, every once I'd, uh, I would visit my buddy Dave out in Colorado. For those of you that know uh, the song Not and Have Grown, Verse 3 references Dave, my, my, my two buddies that have made it in a song. I'm talking about this uh, tonight a little bit. Sammy in South Africa, Dave out in Colorado. Dave wants to fight, but I'm holding him tight. We're kicked out in the streets with our friends. Uh, is the line from Not and Have Grown. Well, Dave was working uh, out in Vail, Colorado. And uh, so I would take my car out there and I would try and score some gigs. Those first years, uh, anywhere I could. And, uh, and there was this place at the base of Vail Mountain uh, uh, called the Red Lion, the Red Lion Bar, restaurant bar. And man, that place was just packed all the time, Opry skiers, right? Especially during, you know, I mean, obviously during the wintertime, right? Uh, and, uh, and there was a guy that played there uh, <laughs> that's right, Nina. There was a guy that played there, uh, 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 named Phil. He was great, great musician, great artist. Uh, and, uh, and I would go visit my buddy Dave. His brother Andy was bar backing at the Red Lion, and Phil would be playing, and the place was just packed with people every single night. He'd be playing songs. And Phil was so nice and he was gracious. And as just a starting out, 
musician uh, Phil would invite me up onto the stage to play play a song with him uh, each time I showed up you know uh, I think one time he even had me play a little set let me sell some CDs Phil was so good at being a cover man he was so good and he had original music and it was great but he played covers at the Red Line, and people loved it. He was so good. He did stuff. He did crazy stuff, like, you know, I mean, because people would just get bombed. They would come there after uh, a day on the slopes, and they would hunker down at the Red Line, and they would just get bombed. And he was so good at engaging the crowd and getting everybody to sing. And, uh, and you know, he would create games, like, you know, he had this tip jar, right, in front of him. Always. And there was like a game he he started, right, where like people could chuck money. At, I think the game was throw money at me, it was called. People would throw money at, uh, at the stage. If it landed in the chip jar, Phil would buy you beer. <laughs> and people were throwing 20s at him. He did so well as a cover man, he ended up, believe it or not, buying the Red Lion <laughs> and uh, uh, that's that's how good a cover man he was you know um, you know I wrote this song reeling from my bad experience kind of getting fired my first year playing music um, but I was thinking about guys like Phil because he was really, he is, I think he's still around, <laughs> such a talented guy. And that's got to be such a delicate balance, right? I mean, right on the one hand, man, he's like almost doing, he's almost doing what I'm sure he's always, he always dreamed of doing, which was Right, playing his music out on the road, being a, being an artist, right? Like, I mean, but he's getting to play music. He is an artist. He does get to be an artist. He gets to play music every single night. I mean, that's pretty damn good. And he gets to make a living, and it was steady work, and people loved him. I mean, it is hard to walk away from uh, a situation like that, I would think. Um, I bet, uh, I bet he could have walked away at some point. But, man, at this point, I mean, he's probably, you know, he's probably in his 50s or 60s now. And uh, he's made a good living. Maybe he's raised a family. Maybe he's been able to raise a family as a musician. Maybe he has this amazing community. I'm sure, I know he has an amazing community in Vail. Maybe he loves skiing and the culture out there. A lot of people hit those mountain towns and never come back for a reason. It's pretty fun, pretty fun place to be. Anyways, I hope, and I think the hope was when I was, uh, when I was writing this song, that it got across some of the complexity. I mean, this is this is a song written from the perspective of the cover man, right? And this is probably a song written in some of the darker hours of the cover man's life, when he has his doubts, when he's frustrated, when he's thinking about maybe the other roads he could have taken. Um, anyways. I have written many lines, yeah Lost forever in the back of time And I listen to the tired radio where I know my 
my lines will never go in. And so I am a cover man As you know, thus I show so No one back and walks the hack And call the man can Oh, I am a cover man When all they've all been told I've got your evening in my hand Cover man Cover man hey. I've been playing 20 years People listen while they drink their beers I'd like to play the songs that are my own But the owner says to sound familiar to their ears And so I am a cover man Let you know the less I show so Rumble back and walks the hack And call me if you can Oh, I am a cover man When no label been told I got your evening mind Cover mine And out of high school I worked hard Laying concrete Spreading tar when I hit those chords that bring into my soul And I will never go back, no, no I said I am a clever man As you know, unless I show so From my back, watch the hack Call the man you can I am a clever man Doing all I've all been told Hey, got your Come For a long time, I mean, that might have been um, that might have been the first kind of rocking song that uh, that I ever wrote. For a lot of years, uh, especially you know, like the years I was playing with. With just Turtle, I mean, for a lot of years, just Turtle and I, I mean, not a lot of years, but for a while there, <laughs> Turtle and I were just a duo. It was me and then Turtle on hand drums, way back in the beginning. 
that was like kind of the first, he was the first musician I played out with. We were a little duo. And we would play that song. And the first, you know, handful of incarnations of the Adam as a group. You know, I would play that song in so many bars and so many times. Uh, always, almost always followed by a cover. Because, you know. I want to thank you all for uh, continuing. Uh, I, I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe... Um, Switching the Whiskey official music video is now uh, uh, is either about to or has crossed the 3,000 streams Rubicon on YouTube, and I just I want to thank you all so much. I know hard when we have over 200,000 streams for Switching the Whiskey on Spotify uh, to get excited about 3,000 streams on YouTube, <laughs> but it is a different. It's a bit of a different medium, and I just uh, and I and I appreciate y'all sharing the music uh, on on both platforms, and listening and watching, and uh, it's just uh, I want to thank you for that. Tomorrow, I get in the van, meet up with the bandies. We hit Connecticut, then we hit Pennsylvania, and then we hit New Jersey. Boom. Uh, yep. Yep. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a fun weekend on the road. Almost like uh, you know, almost like we're on tour again. Uh, ah, right on, Supergirl. It's over three k. She says, "Boom." <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but it's gonna be great. We have some wonderful hosts and backyards. I mean, we're still all the shows that we're playing are socially distanced. They're in backyards. We have this algorithm. <laughs> I mean, it is crazy the lengths to which we worked to set up a system that was going to work for, for, for house for house concerts for backyard concerts. Right? When a person decides they want to be a host, and there is an application that you can just find, by the way, for those of you that are interested, on our website, and we're going to keep the applications open. For people, even after, as more of us get vaccinated, as restrictions ease, we're going to keep doing live gatherings in people's yards. I think. I, I just, I think it's so such a fun way to share music and to have a concert. Um, but, uh, but these days, while we're still uh, remaining socially distanced and trying to keep each other safe as best as we can, we, when a host applies, they give the square footage of their backyard and. For every group of people that buys a ticket, that square footage is subtracted from the yard. People buy their tickets. Some people just come on their own, and they're in a pod of one. And some people come in pods of two and three. But for each pod, you have to have a separate barrier space, right? And oddly enough, right, a one-person pod takes up, you know, if you have a yard full of single people that are potted, you can fit less people, it makes sense, right, than a bunch of big pods where people don't have to socially distance within their pods. So we have a whole system set up when people buy tickets as pods and we subtract the square footage so we never oversell a yard. And it has been such a, it's been a system that's so wonderful because every time we go to a place, we just don't have to worry about whether or not folks are safe. And of course, our hosts have been amazing and respectful and done everything in their power to kind of, and it takes, it's taken a lot of work for each one of you that's hosted. You know, it's a lot of, it's, it's some planning. Uh, I mean, you know, joyous planning, but planning. Um, um, but I was talking to Robin, who is really, she and I are, you know, she's really doing the lion's share of the work, setting up these shows and uh, and organizing all of them and talking to all the hosts. It is so much work that she does, and it's really incredible work that she's doing. But we're we're excitedly talking about how, as more and more people become vaccinated and as things normalize more and more, how we're going to ease up on those 
socially distanced restrictions, which means those of you that have smaller yards, it'll be a lot easier because we won't have to spread people out as much. Um, you know, it's just and those of you that have had big yards, that have had more people that wanted to come, that you then you could have sold tickets to. We'll come back. We'll do it bigger and better. <coughs> Excuse me. Construction zone. A little bit of dust. Anyways. It's going to be a nice weekend of live gatherings. I'm excited to play with my bandies again. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the wind at our backs. May it always blow steady wherever you roam. May you turn when you're ready to carry you home. May it keep you ahead of the rain. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the heavens above. Some say it's a glimpse of God's great design. Some say it's the science. All things combined May we look up and always feel wonder Here is to us Know that we see Here's to our hearts And the air that we breathe Here's to around In good company Here's to the drink that we share Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to this time that we had. For these moments will pass lightly, and they won't come again. May our lives all burn bright, right up to the end. May we live them with joyous abandon. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the end of the day Let us drink to the work when the working is through Let us drink one of me Let us drink one of you Let us drink one for those who aren't with us Here is to us And all that we see Here's to our heart in the air that we breathe Here's to round in good company Here's to the future Here's to the past Let us drink one down slow Let us drink one down fast Let us drink one as if this night is our last Here's to the drink that we share Here's to the drink that we share Please stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another. And I'll see you tomorrow.